<laughs> What's up, Baller Nation? Thanks for checking out today's video. In today's video, I got to work out another workout with Troy. So I'm going to go pick him up. We're going to hit the, the gym. And I got it all written out right here on this piece of paper, exactly what we're going to be doing. And of course, getting up, you know, over 300 jumpers. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else I got planned for the rest of the day, but go ahead, stay tuned, watch to the end. And let's see what happens in today's video. So, all right, guys, I'm about to hop in the car right now. I got some equipment, as you can see right there. Probably going to be hooping in these KD Elites today. They have like a pop bubble on one side, so I don't know. I might have to go back to these old janks. Go ahead, stay tuned, and let's go ahead and hop in the car. All right, so I was trying to think uh, what I was going to talk about in this vlog today. And I know I got the workout. I'm going to show you some clips here in a second, so stay tuned. But uh, I want to talk a little bit about what I've got planned for Baller Boot Camp. So like I told you in the last video, uh, what I have planned is to do more camps. That's the goal, is uh, to grow that here locally. Okay, so I really want to focus first on this local area. I know a lot of uh, so-called trainers or basketball uh, skill development guys, they do a lot of traveling. Their goal is to like travel to China every once a month, twice a month. Their goal is to travel to Europe to train players, run clinics. That's not really my goal right now. My goal is to not travel right now. I'm not really big on traveling. I was playing overseas for so long and one of the reasons that helped my decision to quit playing overseas was the fact that I just didn't like being away uh, from family and away from, from everyone back here, friends too as well. So right now I just wanna focus on this local area, my hometown especially, especially if I'm coaching in here someday, I wanna build something here to where uh, there's like a youth system, a youth program for them to go up into and improve just for this uh, small area. I live in the central coast of California, that's uh, San Luis Obispo County. And right now I just do the one camp here in Atascadero, which is my hometown. And I'm looking to do one in Santa Maria, do one in Oro Grande, do one in who knows, a bunch of other little small towns, San Luis Obispo, right? Do one and all, hit all these little small towns and be able to kind of grow my reach here locally. If I have proven camps that actually deliver a lot of value and get the kids better and kind of, I want to kind of dive deeper into what it takes to work with beginners because I think that's really actually a lot harder than it is to work with elite players is to work with beginners and get beginners better. So I'm still trying to kind of crack that code and kind of figure out, okay, how do we get them in their triple threat? How do we get them to understand what to do when they don't have the ball? I think that's the hardest part really, when they don't have the ball, what to do. And so we have these little weekly clinics that go on a few times a week and that's kind of where I've been focusing all my attention recently is just kind of getting that routine down there so that, that we see improvement. Now, I think we're pretty close. We're doing a pretty good job because I have seen improvement in three weeks that we've been doing them and uh, yeah so anyways it's enough about this uh, if you guys have any connections if you guys want to host a baller boot camp I am willing to travel to do those um, I have done those and I'm going to continue to do that until I get those 10 weeks filled up once I get those 10 weeks filled up in the summer then I got to figure out pick and choose of where I'm gonna go but if you guys want to host a baller boot camp contact me and we can make it happen so all right we're gonna go ahead and get right into this workout Almost. Because I think the full work's gotta be quicker. The, the cross step doesn't really need to be all the way across. Good, yep. Push it through. Push, uh, there. Good, yep. Good, last one. Oh yeah.
work out. Just about to uh, change my shoes, hop in the car, and hopefully it's not too hot out there. But anyways, hope you guys like that little workout, and let's see what we got planned for the rest of the day. I think I'm gonna go grab lunch with my dad right now, and then we'll see what else is gonna happen today. I have no plans, it's Friday night, probably gonna go hang out with some of my friends. Hey. Yeah, I want flatbread, please. Yeah, I'm not gonna find it here. Got it? Toasted, uh, yes. All right, yeah, so now I'm going to get lunch at Subway. I'm gonna pick it up and take it to my parents' house uh, to eat lunch with my dad, uh, just to kind of catch up on the week. And yeah, so we did like some order app thing where he ordered it through an app, and now I just can swing by and just pick it up, and it's all paid for, and it's all ready when I get there. So that's pretty cool. I'm starting to like this technology thing when it works, but we'll see if it works. Ah, uh, Subway. Eat fresh, eat fresh. Ooh, it's hot out here, but that was some of the coolest thing. As you can see, got the subway, got a little sody action. Sorry, all you health nuts had to do it. I'm a trainer now, I'm not a player. I can do that. But yeah, I just like seriously walked in and cut in front of a whole bunch of people. My food was already ready. They just handed it to me. It was already paid for. And I just uh, grabbed it and walked right out. And there are people looking at me crazy. So anyways, shout out to Subway. This is not sponsored. You owe me Subway, but that was a good experience. So I went and got a flat bread instead of like the wheat bread or the regular bread. That's what that looks like right there. It's a little, like a little burrito. Rotisserie chicken style. Okay, everybody, this is Gigi. She is a pug. And she's how old? Two. Two. Two years old. Gigi. heading over to our friend's house for a little, I don't know, little appetizer, little grub session. Uh, my wife, Jocelyn, there she is. She's been uh, teaching all day today. So that's one of the reasons too that I, in all these vlogs, I'm starting to talk about building locally because we finally kind of got our feet set uh, a little bit, not to use a basketball analogy, but we got our feet set. So now we can finally go up into our jumper on balance. So anyways, yeah, hopefully I'll get some clips of tonight of my friend. You might recognize him from some of the other vlogs if you like these vlogs and watch them all. Also, if you wanna see some of these other vlogs from the past, then go ahead and click the note that's up uh, popping up right now and check out some of the past vlogs. Anyways. Just act natural, Joss. That'd be fun. All right, I gotta knock this vlog out. So we're just hanging out here on the deck and there's a really nice little sunset going on right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys check that out. Boom, see if I can zoom it in for you guys. See if the camera will adjust. There it goes. See how it's all pink? It's hard to see on the camera. And yeah, so nice little sunset. It's still warm out. It's probably like 85 degrees right now out here. Yeah, we're just gonna chill on the deck and uh, hang out, eat some good food, and talk about whatever. Shout out to Jocelyn. All right, Jocelyn, come with something more witty this time. I need a punchline. <laughs> All right, so we were uh, pouring up the sodas and realized there was no ice, so we had to head up to Circle K, as you can see right there. Grab some ice, and the sunset is just going down. Take a look. Let me zoom it in for you guys. People are looking at me crazy because I'm vlogging, but hey, they don't know this vlog light. We're whipping in the Jeep, baby. Dang, son, man, look at that sunset. I can't get over it. All right, you guys sick of hearing me? Ay, ay. There is a beastie dog up there that I am very afraid of. I hope that it doesn't bite me. Whew, I gotta walk up this huge hill. I'm walking backwards right now, running up these stairs, about to be wheezing. Oh, 
<laughs> man, I don't know what the deal is with this dog, man. This dog does not like me. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comments below. Click that like button. If you're new here, make sure you guys subscribe. And that's about it. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next video.